Hello and welcome to the session on permutation and combination. This is brought to you by Handa Ka Fanda. Let us suppose we have six friends A, B, C, D, E, F. In how many ways can they sit in a row? That would simply be six factorial. In how many ways can they sit such that A is just before B? For that, you will have to consider A, B as an entity and there will be four more entities C, D, E and F. In how many ways can you arrange five entities? You can do that in five factorial ways. How about A and B are together? Is it different from the previous case? Yes, it is. You will still have these five entities. They can still be arranged in five factorial ways. But you will need to multiply it with two factorial. Why am I doing that? Because A, B can arrange among themselves and they can be B, A as well. In how many ways is A before B. The distinct, distinction between these two questions is A is just before B then you can consider AB as one entity but A is before B you can't do that. A can be just before B as given here it could also be A, C, D, B, E, F. This is also a valid combination because A is before B. This would be given by 6 factorial by 2 factorial. Why? Because A and B among themselves can arrange in two factorial ways. In half of the ways, A is before B and in half of the ways, B is before A. We like the ones in which A is before B. So, we divided the total value that is 6 factorial by 2 factorial. Let's continue with this. Suppose A is just before B who is just before C. Now, you will consider A, B, C as one entity and you have three more entities D, E, F. So they can be arranged in four factorial ways. How about A, B, C together? Once again you have four entities and they can be arranged in four factorial ways. But A, B, C can arrange among themselves. It could be A, B, C. It could be A, C, B. It could be B, A, C. It could be B, C, A. There are three factorial ways in which A, B, C can arrange among themselves. Since both of them are happening simultaneously, it will be three factorial into four factorial. How about A is before B and B is before C? What I mean is A, B, E, B, F, C. This is a valid combination because in an A is before B and B is before C. It is not like this where it was just before A, B was just before C and A was just before B. This will be given by total combinations are 6 factorial. I will have to divide it by 3 factorial because A, B, C among themselves can arrange in 3 factorial ways. Another way of looking at it would be, first of all, from the 6 positions, I will select the 3 positions where A, B, C can sit. Once it is about selection, so from 6 positions, I can select 3 positions in 6, C, 3 ways. Once I have made that selection, in how many ways can I place A, B and C on those 3 positions? Let us say that these six are my positions and I have selected position number 2, 3 and 5 for A, B and C. In how many ways can I place them there? I can place them in only one way because the first out of these positions has to be occupied with A, second of these positions has to be occupied with B and the third of these positions has to be occupied with C. I cannot put them in any other order because A has to come before B and B has to come before C. So, selection of three positions in 63 ways, putting ABC in one way. Now, I have three more entities left, that is D, E and F. And I have three more positions left, that is 1, 4 and 6. In how many ways can I place three people on three positions? I can do that in three factorial ways. So, that is another way of getting to the answer. Once you calculate it, this will be 6 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 factorial. And I'm multiplying the overall term with 3 factorial, I'll get 6 factorial by 3 factorial as a result. The three letters A, B and C, they can be arranged in 3 factorial or 6 ways. And I have shown you all the 6 arrangements here. A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B and C, B, A. If I have 3 distinct letters which here are A, A dash B, then it is 3 factorial or 6 ways as shown here. But will your answer change if two letters are identical? Yes, it will. 
A and A dash, if they are identical and there is no distinction between the two of them, then the first two cases, as you can see, they become the same. A, B, A and A, B, A, they become the same. And these two also become the same. So how do we take care of that when we have repetitive digits or repetitive letters? In this case, it will be 3 factorial by 2 factorial because 2 A's were repeating. Why is this happening is because since earlier one of them was A, A dash and another one was A dash A, they were different. But once they become identical, they become the same. So an arrangement between A, A dash or alike quantities does not exist. If there are two alike quantities, you need to divide it by two factorial because there could be two factorial arrangements in them. Let's look at Handa ka Fanda for example. What we are doing here is we have 12 letters. In how many ways can you rearrange that? 12 letters, if all of them were distinct, could have been rearranged in 12 factorial ways. But that is not the case. This particular combination has four A's and you will not be able to arrange them among themselves. And that is the reason why you will divide it by 4 factorial. The two ends are also identical to each other. That is why you need to divide it by 2 factorial. And the two D's are also identical to each other. So you need to divide it by 2 factorial. That means the total number of the letters of the word Handa Gafanda is 12 factorial by 4 factorial, 2 factorial and 2 factorial. Let us talk about distribution for a little while. Suppose I have 50 students and I want to distribute them in three groups that is of 10, 15 and 25. What I can do is first from 50 students I select 10 for the first group. From the remaining 40 students I select 15 for the next group and then 25 students are remaining. I have to select all of them that is why it is 25 C25. Let's work it out. This will be 50 factorial by 10 factorial, 40 factorial into 40 factorial by 15 factorial, 25 factorial and 25 C25 NCN is 1. 40 factorial, 40 factorial gets cancelled. This is 50 factorial by 10 factorial, 15 factorial and 25 factorial. As a matter of fact, once you look at the result, do you realize it will not change if you had changed the order? What I mean is, if you had calculated, let's say you selected 15 students first, then from the remaining 35, you selected 25, and from the remaining 10 students, you selected all 10, you would have still got the same answer. The order does not change, because here what you are doing is making groups of size 10, 15, and 25. You can directly say that the answer is 50 factorial by 10 factorial, 15 factorial, and 25 factorial. Will this case be any different? Think about it. By normal logic, by the logic that we have used here, it should simply be 50 factorial by 10 factorial, 20 factorial and 20 factorial. But that would be wrong. Why? Because the two groups that you have made of 20 and 20, they can swap among each other. The first group goes to let's say room A and the second group goes to room B. What can happen is that the second group can go to room A and the first group can go to room B. In both cases, it's the same distribution which is happening. To counter that, we need to divide it by another 2 factorial. Say, so what will happen in this case? There are a total of 50 students, so it will be divided. Its total arrangement is 50 factorial. And I need to divide it by 5 factorial, 5 factorial, 5 factorial, 5 factorial, 4 times. 10 factorial, 10 factorial, 10 factorial, thrice. But I will also need to multiply it with 4 factorial because 4 of my groups are of the same size. I will also need to multiply it with 3 factorial because 3 of my groups are of the same size. Please stay with us to continue the discussion on permutation and combination. Thank you.